we were about to do an AI, an artificial insemination on this female. And look at all this blood that came out of the syringe. So stay tuned and I'm gonna show you guys what a uh, pooling blood is in, in a female. What's going on, Bowie fam? Um, I just want to show you guys real quick. So we got a female here. Um, we were gonna do an AI and I wanted to show you, this is why it's so important when you guys are doing an AI that you pull back on the syringe. Before you inseminate the dog and throw the semen inside the dog, you know, pull back on the syringe. And as you guys can see here, like that, this is what you'll find when, if the dog is pulling, if the dog is pulling, it doesn't happen all the time, but what tends to happen is with some dogs and particularly with more of like the bully type breeds and stuff like that, when you, uh, sometimes they'll have blood sitting um, and, and, and what they call it pooling inside their uterus. So the best thing that you can do is go ahead, you know, stick the AI rod in, pull back on the plunger and try to drain as much as that of that blood as possible. If it stays in there, um, in my opinion, I mean, it could potentially lead to pyometra. I mean, um, blood isn't that great. It, it can kill the semen. So you don't want to just throw the semen in her. So you want to drain it out as much as possible. And um, then you have a better chance at your, your breeding's taking as well as, um, I mean, depending on the severity of it, um, you may even want to skip the breeding. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this real quick because it's, I mean, people don't come across this all the time. And most of the time what people do is they don't even think of pulling back on the plunger. So what winds up happening is um, you're just throwing the semen into a female that has a whole bunch of blood in her uterus. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick. This is what it looks like. As you can see, look at all that blood in my syringe. So we're gonna go ahead and stick the AI rod in um, and try to, I got a better, I wasn't honestly expecting um, blood to be in the syringe. Um, like I said, it doesn't happen all the time. It's not that frequent, but nothing to go crazy and freak out about. Um, but that's why I highly recommend do pre-breeding treatments, antibiotics, flush her out just in case. So then you don't have to worry about um, you know, getting a pyometra or, um, stuff like that. Um, just trying to keep everything at bay. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stick another AI rod in real quick. And we're going to, um, it has a bigger hole at the end of it and a bigger syringe. And we're going to just try to drain out the rest so then we can get, um, you know, a better, uh, a better breeding going. And all I'm doing is just like kind of moving it around so it doesn't get stuck on the walls of her, of her uterus, I'm sorry. So the real key thing, I found the best way to get the blood out. Yeah, can we raise her legs? Sure. Actually, if it squirts, it's a good thing. It's a lot of blood, bro. It's I told insane, you. Bro. It's insane, bro. Another big seat, uh, the syringe. That's a shot of crazy. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, I knew she was pulling after, you know, in the beginning, but I didn't think she was pulling as much. There we go. She, she, so what she did is she pulled her whole heat, meaning the reason why you didn't see blood was because she wasn't, she, she wasn't dripping blood. Yeah, she was storing it. 
kind of weird. It's like you kind of just got to let it build pressure. Yeah. See, what I think happens, what, what happens is like, I think the, the end of the pipette gets stuck on mm -hmm, something mm -hmm. and it'll suction it. So it's like getting it off quick enough to, to fill. Blood. Yeah, bro. But it's it, it it stink like blood, but old blood. Yeah, old blood. Yeah. Pull it out. Give her a minute. Shit. Crazy, right? So as you guys can see. I mean, look at how much blood, look how much blood we pulled from this dog. So this is literally what happens when you go to do an AI and the dog is pulling, you know, has blood all filled in her uterus. We have about, this is about, I would say, let's see. So this is a, th these are two, these two larger ones are 30 cc's. This is a 10 cc and this is a little under five. So 60, 70, almost like 75 cc's. More like 65, because some of these are, yeah. Probably like 65, but as you guys can see, this is what we pulled from the dog. So, and it's, yo, it smells bad, right? Yeah, it smells good. like old blood that's just been sitting, you know? So, what we're gonna do now, it really all depends, it all depends on the, ble the, the breeder, you know, and the circumstances. Um, some breeders, will will skip the heat and flush the female some breeders you could go ahead and do the breeding it's really all at your discretion um but i mean make sure you you got to get this out of them first though you got to get this out of them look how big this this syringe is so anyway um so what we're going to do is because you want to flush out you want to remove as much as possible um we're going to go ahead and do one more attempt to try to take out any more blood that's in there and then we'll go ahead and try to do our ai but um like I said, this should just be standard protocol no matter what. You're just doing a regular AI. Just uh, before you put the, the syringe with um, semen on it, like, like this one here, before you put the, the syringe with semen in it, just do, use a blank syringe and see if any blood comes back. Particularly what, what gave us concern about this female was the fact that she wasn't really bleeding during her heat. Um, so that's what you know gave the concern that, hey, you know what what's going on? So then, once I knew that she wasn't bleeding a lot during her heat, um, I was like, let's, let's, let's go ahead and draw and see if, if she's pulling the blood, if she's storing it inside of her, which yet again, can affect the pregnancy, can become an infection, all kinds of stuff, but we caught it. So anyway, guys, let's, um, yeah, let's try to, we're going to try one more time, pull out whatever's there, and then we could go on and move to the next thing. A lot of breeders haven't seen anything like this before because it's not, most breeders, you know, you're not thinking about pulling back on the the plunger because it's loaded with semen. Yeah. So why would you like just draw out nothing? You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, all that blood right here. All right. Whew, that shit stank, stank. Yeah. Naturally, normally, People would skip the breeding, throw antibiotics in, flush her out real good, yeah. hit it next breeding. Since you want to do the breeding, make sure, obviously we're going to put her on antibiotics and stuff like that. We breed today. Tomorrow, you skip a day. The day after tomorrow, I would get a surgical probably. Yeah, yeah. Dr. J could probably do one for you for like 700. Okay. I'd probably do it. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. in case. Then you got all your bases covered. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's what I would do. More so than anything, it's just like, what you don't know can cost you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, that's really the biggest thing that I've learned with dogs. Yeah, yeah. Is like, what you don't know will, will cost you, whether it's a, like, your puppy's lives yeah, yeah, yeah. or whether it's a breeding or whether it's just money yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying and then it's like people be putting all their faiths faith in the vet and the vets don't know everything either especially when it comes to like reproductive shit you yeah, know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. so it's like yet again what their vet doesn't know now it costs the person you know what i'm saying 
all clean, all cleared out. All right, man. All right, guys. So as you can see, um, this is all the blood here. Like I said, we got like 60 to 70 cc's of just pulled blood inside the female. So the key thing is make sure, if I can wrap this whole thing up, do your pre-breeding treatments. That's gonna help with preventing infections and things like that. I got an episode on how to do pre-breeding treatments and things like that. You know, hitting them with light antibiotics leading up into a breeding. Um, as well as when you do your AI, make sure you're pulling back on the syringe. Use a blank syringe and pull back on it first. That'll tell you if they're pulling. Another indicator is if the dog really isn't kind of bleeding like that during her heat, then the blood has to go somewhere or it's staying inside. So that's another thing. Um, as well as just make sure you put them on a really good prenatal. I, I really recommend the Bulls Angel prenatal because of the fact that it has the folic acid in it, which will help with um, preventing um, deformalities, cuff palates, things like that. But as I said, guys, I just wanted to show you guys this real quick because a lot of people, I guarantee, like I said earlier, I guarantee you go to the vet, they're not even gonna know they, they probably don't even really know what like pulling is like that because any of it I've spoken to, they're not really all that familiar with it. Um, so um, I'm sure there are some vets out there that do know about it. But as I said, like when it comes to pulling blood, um, I know my local vet here would probably just tell you to, you know, spay the dog. Um, but like I said, we got all that blood out. So it's up to you, the breeder, um, if you want to go ahead and skip the heat, you know, flush the dog really good, some antibiotics, and then do the next, you know, go the next heat. Or um if you're gonna do the breeding but at least you got all that blood out because that's more than likely gonna kill the semen so anyway guys we're gonna do the ai now real quick so i got plenty of episodes on how to do an ai so make sure you guys check that out um but i figured i'd show you show you guys this and it'd be helpful and useful and i'll see you guys on the next episode of breeders hacks